First on five, Mobile firefighters are fed up with what they call a pay gap between themselves and Mobile police officers. The disagreement made its way into a courtroom after the union representing the firefighters sued the city. WKRG News 5's Asher Red joins us now. And Asher, you went to the hearing today at Government Plaza. Yeah, and this case was pushed off to a bench trial. And as one Mobile Fire Rescue Captain puts it, the fire department and the police department enjoyed the same pay for 80 years until now. Just in the last two years, as the struggle became real. A lawsuit filed by the International Association of Firefighters accuses the city of Mobile of not paying its firefighters the same as its police officers. Mobile Fire Rescue Captain Jimmy Connick says this breaks state law. There's a parity clause in there that states that you pay the firemen the same amount that you pay the policemen. The city claims that same state law allows the Mobile County Personnel Board to approve employee incentives based on specific skills. According to Connick, it just so happens that the police department makes $5,200 in incentives that the fire department wasn't offered. All of this is listed in plain sight on the Mobile Police Department's website. According to Public Safety Director Robert Lasky, that incentive was approved by the personnel board. It's given to newly sworn in officers in an effort to boost retention and recruiting numbers within the police department. And, and if you look at the numbers, I believe it helps. Okay. And what about the fire department? Did they need retention and recruiting as well? The, the attrition rate for the fire department has been uh, less than the police department as, uh, as of two years ago. That's why uh, one of the reasons this incentive was provided. Connick says Mobile Fire Rescue ranks among the top nine fire departments in the United States. According to him, that's even more of a reason to offer more incentives to firefighters. We're always receptive of any type of offer from the city. So we'll be happy when this is over. Now, this bench trial is scheduled for June the 11th. In the meantime, Lasky says the city will continue to look for ways to even the playing field between the fire department and the police department. Live in the studio for now, I'm Asher Red, WKRG News 5. For more on the legal battle between local firefighters and the city of Mobile, head to WKRG.com and search Mobile Firefighter Pay.